So we got a brand new bimini top for Luna, but it turns out the size is right, but the length isn't. It goes at least a good nine, 10 inches above where our other one sat and the boom doesn't lay well on it. So we're gonna have to cut the bimini down so it fits because we are dying to get back out on the water. Uh, but it's sunny South Florida and you can't do that without a bimini top, right? Stay tuned, we'll show you how it's done. I'm Apple. And I'm Rob. Join us as we seek out new adventures and escape the nine to five grind. We travel by land, sea, and air, searching for fun adventures, best kept secrets, culinary delights, and tasty craft beers. New episodes weekly. Thanks for remembering to subscribe. So our old bimini top fell apart and we needed a new bimini. So a few days ago, I went over to Sailor Man and I picked out a new bimini top. It's pretty cool, it comes in a several different uh, styles. So you just pick the frame you want. So we picked this size frame, I think it was six feet by 77 inches wide. And then I picked the, the blue top. I ordered it in the morning, they had it for me in the afternoon. Pretty self-explanatory, we went ahead and installed the bimini. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut it down to the right size so it fits and get it remounted. So let's get that done. There we go. I drilled that out. I'm gonna drill these rivets out so we can reuse these connectors here because we're going to have to drill new holes and then re rivet it. There we go. So, so this is drilled out now. Now I'm going to drill out the other side. So you want to make sure you use the right size bit. So the best thing to do is to start small and then work your way up until you get to the exact bit that eats the rivet right up. And then you'll be ready for the, the next piece. And so the next step, you just want to mark however much you need to remove from your particular top down. And you want to mark each side and then cut it off. Uh, I'm going to use a saw. Oh, you could use anything, a grinding wheel. I think I have a hacksaw that'll work. I'm gonna measure this next, and I'm gonna mark it. I think we're gonna take nine inches off here, and then I'm gonna cut this off with the hacksaw. We're gonna measure that right now. We'll put some blue painter's tape and mark it, and then we'll cut away. And hopefully, we did our measurements right. Let's start with nine to be on the safe side. And we can test it, and if we need to, we can take it back off and recut. I want to prevent any uh, sharp edges if I can. No, I'm not cutting it straight. Oh, you're not? Oh. Ah, so how do you fix that? You just grind it down. Or maybe it'll just work as it is. You think so? It might. Yeah, it'll work. It's not that far off, so... Once this goes on, this is gonna work okay. Even though it's not exactly straight. Once this goes on, We'll put this on, drill a hole in here, and put a rivet in, and it'll be good to go. All right, let's cut the other side down now. I'm gonna make sure I'm as straight as possible here. I didn't get that one exactly straight either. But I don't think it's gonna matter a whole lot. At least they both match now. I think before we rivet it down, we should take it up on the boat, test it. What do you think? Yeah. So we've cut the bimini top down now, and before we test it, take the obligatory cocktail break. <sighs> Since the ends aren't connected, we're just going to be, have to be careful that it doesn't fall out. So we'll get the bimini all situated, 
and then we'll put the boom on and see where we're at. Pressure washer on this girl. Yeah. So now we gotta readjust the straps. Yeah. All right. It looks like from my line of sight, right where the bottom of the boom goes, it looks like we're just above the bimini, which is, I think, pretty much right where we want to be. So let's take this off real quick and just see where this hangs. Yeah. See. So there's about. I don't know, at least more than my hand for the space. So this is going to hold this right here. I think we might be okay. Let me get the boom real quick and we'll give it a shot. All right, let's hang the boom and see where we're at. Did you look at that? Yeah. Where the main sheet connects. This is too far... Uh, too far back it's going to hit against this back the back piece here so just after tightening all the straps i think we got it pretty much perfect now what do you think yeah look at that okay, then the the boom does not touch I think, I think the bimini looks good so let's go ahead and uh drill our holes and put our rivets in all right so i got our five dollar harbor freight riveter it came with some. It came with some three sixteenths rivets. Basically, you know how this works, don't you? I have no idea how that works. You just put this in here. You put the tool in the hole, and you squeeze this, and it pulls this head through here and expands the rivet. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's called a a pop rivet. All right. And they have different sizes here for whatever you need. We're just drilling a hole. In, in the pipe here, so the rivet can go in. Or isn't that what the rivet gun's supposed to do? Push it in? No. No? Oh, it just expands it? Yeah. There you go. So that's tight up against there. So we know that the rivet is, is through the hole now, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so now that we know that's on there, let me just grab this bad boy and... There you go. Wow, oh, and it cut it. Yep. Oh. So that's in there and it's not going nowhere. Well, that's easy. Yep. It's got to go a little bit higher. Can you see that? Okay. Is that good? Yeah, I think so. Oh, well, that went right in. Oh, because yeah. you wiggled it. Yep, I wiggled it a little bit. That's it, right? That's it. All right, we got our new bimini top installed and cut down, and uh, she's pretty much ready to get to the water. So we're gonna get her all cleaned up now, as the boat is just absolutely filthy, and uh, get ready to head to the water soon. If you really enjoyed these videos and they've helped you out, please consider supporting us on Patreon. It really helps our channel and allows us to bring you more videos, just like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on our next adventure.